Tommy and Deanne Swartz. I was, you know, surprised, of course, but I wasn't disappointed. I was, uh, I was all for it. You know, I had no problem with it at all. So he said he was thinking about it. And I said, okay, keep thinking about it. And that was pretty much it. Mm -hmm. For me, it was pretty, it was, uh, wasn't a big, it wasn't a surprise really. Um, I had said that I wanted him to be a priest from the time before he was born. Um, I said it more as a joke because um, I like to do that. And God has a bigger sense of humor than I do. And um, But when he came home and he said he was thinking about this and what did we think, you know, if God was calling him to be a priest and we're like, well, if God's calling you, you have to do what God wants. And more than anything, we want for Thomas to be happy. And um, from what we've seen of his experiences in seminary and uh, the schooling he's gotten and the, the fellowship he's getting from his fellow seminarians and um, ho hopefully his brother priest someday, is, has, he, seem, he seems very happy. I do go to Mass more often. Uh, I do have read a lot more books because I wanted to learn more about the the faith uh and i have just in the in the few years that he's been a seminarian you know we keep that holy hour and i mean i i truly think that's where thomas is calling and the grace for this blessing has come from is is through the blessed sacrament um i i a lot of a lot of people have, have, have we've talked to other parents of seminarians and now priests who've said you know they've talked to the dads and asked the dads well now do you want to be a deacon and um, it's like no <laughs> that that you know while we while we may feel a stronger call to some things um, the diacon no is no, <laughs> the diac diac isn't, doesn't seem to be in 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 the picture for for Tommy but no. um, you know just. Just to, I think just being good Catholics and going to mass and and you know encouraging other pa other parents of, mm. of kids at, at mass you know when there's there's a, a parent or a family where they've got a, a, a little boy or a little girl who's trying to um, set an example yeah who's who's you know having a having a rough day at mass and and letting them know that you know hey we've been there and now we have a seminarian and. We would when Thomas was four. Why wouldn't that you know it, he wasn't going to be a priest? He couldn't behave in church, but you know, letting them know that this is all part of it, and to be open to the Holy Spirit, you know, that all, you know, just living that example is what I think helps. You know, keep me keep me closer to God, and and to to help other parents see what you know what to expect and what to do. Be open to the Holy Spirit. You know, let let yeah. the Holy Spirit talk to your child, and you, you know, and, and and let let the Holy Spirit speak through you. I mean, don't. Um, my husband's mother told him he couldn't become a priest, which is a good thing um, for us. Um, but you know, she wasn't wasn't open to letting that that happen. And and um, we had we've had friends who've asked us, "How'd you do it?" And and. As parents, as far as encouraging a vocation, you just have you just have to be open to it. We go to mass every week. We go to mass. We expected our children to go mm -hmm. to mass, and mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. you know that's just kind of been how it is. Um, and and talk with you know find out who the other seminarian parents are. I know we we were blessed with Thomas in our parish here in College Station that the Holy Spirit's just. Um, been working overtime and we've had so many seminarians and two of our, our friends already their sons were in seminary already when Thomas Thomas um, came home and, and said I'm applying to seminary and so um, we formed a mothers of seminarians group and um, it kind of fizzled to be perfectly honest with you but knowing who the other mothers were and being able to talk to them and you know they 
the, it helped to guide each other through through the process. It makes um, so you're not as surprised, or you know, when when something is a big deal and when something isn't a big deal. Because um, I, I children, even seminarians, don't always share everything you know, with their parents. And when they're you know still you know like in in secondary school you know or whatever you know growing up still uh it's okay to plant the seed you know uh ask them you know tell them you know or you know at mass or wherever yeah you could be a priest that could happen mm -hmm. and the one one thing I can I can encourage all parents um, isn't just your child, you know other other kids. Thomas had a friend in high in from um, elementary school to high school, and you know it, he went to a different college. But um, when he graduated from his with his four year degree, I just offhandedly asked him if he had con was considering the priesthood, and lo and behold, he really was. Um, but. You know, not pressuring him, just letting kids know, hey, you know, you seem like the sort of person that I want, would want to have lead me through my faith. And um, and knowing that your child is someone who could lead someone else through their faith is kind of a neat feeling. It, it is a blessing.